Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the crop tool and how to use it in your work in Krita. So to start with, the crop tool is this icon up here. It's got two lines to make a box, but they kind of extend past each other. And then these are the tool options. If you don't have the tool options, make sure to go to settings, dockers, and toolbox, or I'm sorry, tool options to turn that, that on. So to start with, as you can see, it's nothing too crazy here. Very simple options. We have three locks here to lock and unlock the width, height, and ratio in case you want something specific. You know what it can apply to and the location of where you want this to start. So if you click and drag wherever you want, you can see that the X is 900, which is we'll say about here. This is where it's going to start. And the 441, which is going to be the top of the line here. So that's how that location setting is going to be applied. So if you put, we'll say 500, and we'll just say two, we'll say 250. So the line will start around 250 here, you know, approximate. And then the X is at 500, which is here. So that is how you can do something very specific. So if you have a file that you need to crop in the same location every single time, that's how you can start applying it and going forward with each layer or image. The next is the center or the grow. So center, it's kind of like how we had the free transform, where if you click and drag, it's just going to grow or shrink the boundary from the center of the, the box here, right? Or if you click off that, it's going to go from the upper left hand corner and up or down or side to side, depending on how you crop your image. And then grow will allow you to make a crop expanding the canvas. And this can be helpful if you have a document that needs to be a little bit bigger, but you don't have an exact size or measurement. And you can just simply make a crop and extend it past to whatever you want. You can hit enter. Oh, let me put this to image. You can hit enter, and now that has been expanded. Now this is gray because my background layer is white and is not the same size. But that um, is how you can do it. Now if you have the grow off, you're not going to be able to expand this past the canvas size. It's going to be stuck right at the edge. You can only basically crop down. For the width and the height, it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's say I want to cut this in half, make it a square or something, and I have a specific size. I can change the width and the height. I can make it that size I want. I can drag it around and say, yes, this is perfect. I'm going to crop right here. Now as a note, because the grow is off, I, I still won't be able to go past this boundary. It's going to be stuck right there. If you want to kind of extend this, you can turn the grow back on and you can kind of drag this around and make a perfect crop by at, and still add on some extra space at, this, at the um, edge. So if I hit enter, I have cropped it. I'll just have to fix my background layer with the white because I only have it on just so you can see the art a little easier. And that's a nice, perfect crop, right? So I'm going to undo that. All right, so let's say, oops. Let's say I have a set width or height that I want, but the other one doesn't matter. So if I always want it to be 800 height, I can lock it and the width, or I'm sorry, the width can always be 800 and then I can lock that and the height can be whatever I want it to be. So this I can always move up or down, make it a little longer or shorter, but I can't change the width. So the width will always be 800. And that can be useful if you're making specific graphics to fit uh, maybe a website, for example, and you need the width to always be 800, but the height can is very flexible. Or maybe you're making some display graphics for um, something like a sign or a certain type of art or even a comic that can help make sure that everything is the right size. So I'm going to unlock that because I don't want it to be locked. I'm just going to hit the B key to get back to my brush and then go back to my crop tool. So for the ratio, if I click and drag, 
you can see that the ratio number changes from below 1 to almost 3 depending depending how I move this, right? This is our like up to 35. So if you look at some ratio aspect or aspect ratios, we have 1 which is a perfect square, there's 169 which is more of a widescreen format. You know, things like that. So if I put this to 1, this is a square. And I can lock oops, that to 1. I'm going to lock that so I can't change it. I can't make the width different than the height. And if I want to put this at 0.5, I have more of a rectangle here. All right? So when it gets to the boundary, it's just going to keep growing until it fills in. And if I want to do 1.9, I have more of a landscape horizontal crop I can do. All right, this is kind of more of a widescreen type thing. Not exact. These aren't exact numbers for that, but you get the idea. So if you want, if it needs to be a specific, you know, uh, ratio, you can do that without knowing the exact width and height. And you can maintain that ratio regardless of how big or small that crop is, which is very, very useful in my opinion. So I'm going to unlock that and I'm just going to click outside that to reset it. And now we're going to go down to the applies to and the decoration. So, so far we've been applying our crop to the image. So what that looks like is if I go ahead and I change my boundary, I'm like, all right, I want to crop this down. I only want this showing. I want this to apply to the whole image, which is the whole canvas. So when I go ahead and hit enter, everything outside that boundary box basically gets taken away and the whole image is cropped down to this uh, size. And that's going to affect all of my layers, not just uh, one single layer that I'm on. So if you go up to image and scale to image to new size, you can see even the image size has changed. So keep in mind that if you're working on a very large image and you crop it down, you're going to lose some of that image size. Most of the time it's not a big deal. I usually use the crop for the layer or for the whole image if I am saving out as a JPEG or a PNG for posting on social media or my website. And sometimes I use the crop tool to expand it if I need to make something bigger to have more room to draw. <laughs> but anyway, so that the, the grow will also apply to the whole image, not just a layer. If I do that, that's the whole image. So now for the layer, if I want to crop the layer, let me show you how that looks. I only want this little guy here. I can go ahead and hit enter. So I am on the white background layer and I only cropped that layer. Everything else is still here, but the white's only going to show on the area that I cropped. And this can be useful if you are bringing in images that you want to kind of edit or certain sketches that you scanned in or just anything really and you only want to see a certain part of that image. You don't need to see everything else. That can help you isolate that section without using a mask, without erasing it, without using the selection tools. Just one simple crop and it's done. Now if I want to do the the this layer here, I can go back to my line art layer, do the same thing, and everything else is gone. So it's gone, I can't I can't bring it back with, unless I hit undo. It's kind of like erasing it. It's, or even just it's like a reverse selection, so if I select that and go to invert and hit delete, it's similar to that. Only with one step this time. So I'm going to put that back to image. I can show you some more. Under decoration, we have four, or I guess five options. The first one is none, so if you want to crop, there will be no lines to, sh to see. The next is the rule of thirds. So this is important for uh, composition. So if you're cropping this little guy here and you want to make sure that it looks good here, if I had like a background and some environment stuff, I could see right off the bat, this would be a good idea to crop this section of the image because it's retaining a good composition and it'll, it'll look better, right? I, I always have that one on. And you have fifths. Which is similar but it just adds more depth to it right so if you have a more busy piece of artwork you can kind of 
get a better feel for that. There's the passport photo. So passport photos have very specific guidelines to them. I don't think anyone's going to be cropping passport photos in Krita, but if you do need it, I think your head has to go here. No. Your head here, your eye here, and your nose here, or something like that. I don't remember. It's been a while. But it's very specific. So if you need to crop a passport photo, this one's here for you. And then crosshair. And this is just a simple two line. So if this is more comfortable for you, you can do that as well. And then when you're done, you, you can hit enter or you can hit the crop button here. I just hit enter. It's just easier for me. Alright, and that is basically it for the crop tool. I'm going to put this back to the thirds, put it back to normal, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you out and you can get to crop in your own photos or sketches or whatever it is you need. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to help you out and answer them. And yeah, <laughs> that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.